Today I'm going to talk about the brand new California finance law called the Local Control Funding Formula uh, passed on uh, June uh, 16th by the California State Legislature after strong recommendations and leadership by Governor Jerry Brown who uh, sponsored the bill. California school finance uh, has been unreformed and a convoluted historical accretion for many, many years. People like me have been trying to reform the school finance system in California ever since Proposition 13 passed, uh, which was the last major change in, in effect, uh, turned the funding of, of schools over to the state government. Proposition 13 cut the property tax in half and the state assumed control of over well over 80% of the funding in California. However, the distribution system for school funding in California from the state government to local school districts goes back to 1972 uh, under Governor Reagan. So the system built up over many decades without any underlying rationale and continued to grow more and more complex with technical fixes of all sorts that ad kept adding things so that almost nobody understood what the finance system stood for or what its underlying principles were. In fact, there were no underlying principles. As I said, it was basically an historical accretion. So there have been task forces upon task forces in the 1980s and the 1990s, and even in the early 2000s with recommendations. Nobody was happy. Moreover, the system is not only inadequate, uh, it is inequitable uh, and uh, has uh, no adjustment for pupil needs. So the first major study that led to this reform in uh, 2013 uh, was the Getting Down the Facts study uh, sponsored by the Hewlett Foundation and carried out uh, by the Center for Education Policy Analysis at Stanford University. Susanna Loeb, the head of SEPA, uh, was the head of the Getting Down the Facts team, which included over 20 authors looking at all aspects of the school finance system. They held a major conference, a press conference in Sacramento in 2007 and really uh, provided a strong, uh, comprehensive base for rethinking California's school finance system. Uh, then in 2008, uh, Goodwin Liu, a now on the state Supreme Court of California, Alan Burson, uh, who was the uh, Secretary of Education under Governor Schwarzenegger, and myself, Mike Kirst, uh, we wrote a paper uh, that uh, was called Getting Beyond Getting Down to Facts, which actually proposed a specific formula uh, and a specific set of concepts uh, to carry out the earlier report's uh, intentions. So that languished on the shelf for a number of years. There was a task force by Governor Schwarzenegger, which uh, has supported uh, our plan in getting down to facts in, in general and many specific terms. And California's school finance system then, after 2009, began to spiral downward. In cost-adjusted terms, California's school finance system is now uh, 49th in the country in per pupil spending. So in 2011, Governor Jerry Brown uh, came into office saying he wanted to overhaul it completely. And he sponsored a bill in 2012, uh, in which was uh, uh, in effect a trial bill, and in 2013 came forward with a detailed plan on how to do it. So the new system, which was approved by an overwhelming bipartisan vote in the California legislature in June of 2013, has the following characteristics. It is simple and easy to understand. It is much more flexible and it is based on student needs rather than on just an accretion of history. It uh, ends uh, the impact of 42 categorical grants, which had been California's old system, uh, which specified money for everything for librarians, school counselors, reading specialists, school gardens, any idea people had, they put it in as a categorical earmark so that categorical or tied funding or earmark funding uh, consumed over a third of the local school budgets. So the new system consists of three elements. You get a base grant, 
uh, of a certain amount that's adjusted for grade levels. You get a supplemental grant for every child that is low income family or is an English learner. And you get a concentration grant uh, for school districts that have over 55% of their students low income or English learners. Three basic factors, that's all. Uh, it has then uh, gives much more flexibility to the local level, adjusts for pupil needs. I can explain it in three sentences and it is an historic amount, uh, uh, an overhaul. The amounts of money increase over seven years, so we move towards uh, the national average. We may not get there, but we're on a path uh, to improve not only the equity and rationality of California school funding, but also at some point a greater level of adequacy of funding as we phase it in over the next seven years.